Florida lawmakers, they're already wanting to take some sort of action on guns. Our Nicole Gregg working on this, tracking the brand new developments today from our social center. Nicole. Paul and Ashley, one of the newest videos coming down right now, right here on Twitter. I want to just give you an insight into it. It shows the entrance to the hotel room of the shooter at the Mandalay Bay, and it also shows a long gun. You can see it in just one second. Oh, let's go ahead and replay this. If we go ahead and replay it, you're going to see that long range gun right there, right by the door. And we're also learning new information about the victims, including the number of first responders injured. This is a picture on Twitter from the International Association of Firefighters visiting a San Bernardino firefighter who was shot. Today, the IAFF says 12 of their union firefighters were shot on the Vegas Strip. Two of them were shot while giving CPR. And here in Florida, this tragedy is already being politicized. First thing tomorrow, legislators and those with this group, the Florida Coalition to Prevent Gun Violence, plan to unveil in a press conference a proposal for a ban on assault-style weapons in Florida. The same legislation was filed after the Orlando Pulse nightclub shooting, but that bill died because it was never put on the agenda. Along with the ban on assault-style weapons, which can be automatic or semi-automatic, we're not gun experts, but the difference between the two is if you have to pull the trigger or not. This picture showing images of fully automatic machine guns. So that means you only have to pull the trigger once and it will keep firing until it runs out of ammo or you stop it. The bill would also propose banning large capacity magazines, which means a firearm that can hold more than the normal amount of ammunition.